All right. Here we go. Welcome. Good evening. Today is part five of our first playthrough of New Mystery of the Emblem. We're playing on lunatic difficulty because I have no self-control. And uh, we're currently on chapter 3X. We made it to a paralogue. A guided chapter, I think they're called still in this game, not paralogues. Well, here we go. Uh, we're going to poke around with some dialogue. We're going to take a look at it. Generally speaking. Okay. Generally speaking. Comparative to uh, the previous chapters that we've done. This seems deceptively easy. Like, 27 attack knights still hit like a fucking train. But... It should be fine? Like, I'm sure we'll have to deal with reinforcements on the way up here, and the boss is a sniper. But, uh... That's really it. We And we only get six deployment slots. I suppose that's a, um... A point of contention so we're gonna have to like drop Aaron back here and Malisha probably or just the Pega sisters once we've gotten everything all cleaned up uh, then we can have Yarn and Marth move forward to the bows so we have the Taurus whatever the fuck this thing is he has plus one strength and defense um, we could put that on Katria or Pala for training um, or we can just leave it on yarn. I don't think it particularly matters. Um, yeah, let's start. With, let's put it on Katria. Let Katria start training some more because we need to not only work on her lance rank, but she needs training as well. Same like with Pala. Again, we want to do some training. But she has that good lance rank already, starting at B. And having access to the silver lance, just like Aaron does. So. Also, let's get Aaron a... Uh, an iron axe there. And... Let's trade Marth. The steel sword. That way we are not just using... Our plus four iron sword that we're using mostly to train other units with. Other sword units. Though, we're trying out Dragon Hunter, which his stats are pretty good in Hunter. He's just so fragile. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we get. Okay. Oh god, we have so many. <coughs> so I'm guessing these are basically supports? Alright, let's see what's up. Apparently, the assassins who made an attempt on Prince Marth's life have appeared in the northern mountains. There are rumors that they are targeting former comrades of ours from the War of Shadows. The prince has decided to pursue the enemy. Let us hurry to the battle preparations. Okay. Sire, are you departing? Hello, Yarn. I was just heading to the armory. You need not trouble yourself with such a trivial chore, Sire. Speak the word and I'll fetch as many iron swords. <laughs> Thanks, but I'll be fine. I'm used to it. Besides, I want to affirm the situation with my own eyes. Uh, then I shall accompany you. Thank you, Yarn, but I'm just going to visit the armory. There's no need to bother you. I understand, Sire. Still, it would be terrible if anything were to happen to you. It's my duty as your royal guard to protect you at all times. <laughs> you worry too much, Yarn. But I appreciate it. Alright, let's go together. Yes, sire. 
God, such a fucking dork. All right. Apparently, mother and father wanted to have a girl. Sometimes I wonder what it would be like to have a big sister. I understand that feeling well. What if I had a sibling? A question often crosses my mind. I wanted a brother. A younger one. Really? Yeah, I think I'd dote on my little brother if I had one. It'd be great if I had a docile little brother like you. Oh, but since I'm a man, I can't be the big sister you wanted. Well, uh, doesn't have to be a big sister. I'd be happy with a big brother, too. This is very awkward. Just thought it'd be nice if the three of us were siblings, Yarn. <laughs> I see. Yeah, okay. Sir Aaron, there's something I want to ask you. Please teach me what it means to be a knight. To be a knight? Y yes, sir. What is it that really defines a knight? I've always pondered this. Be it prowess, nobility, or loyalty, each knight seems to have a different answer. I want to know what you think, Sir Aaron. The way of a knight, huh? Sadly, I can't teach you. <laughs> uh. Uh. Sir Aaron, are you alright? <laughs> yes. This happens all the time. No need to fret. Yarn, before serving Prince Marth, I used to be a wandering knight. I have served two masters. I am not worthy to speak about what it means to be a knight. But that's exactly why I wanted to ask you, Sir Aaron. I've been thinking, perhaps there's more than one way to be a knight. Maybe each knight holds his own meaning in his or her heart. I am inexperienced as a knight, so I was hoping you could help me find my way, Sir Aaron. Hmm. Yeah. Sorry, but I still haven't figured it out for myself. I'm afraid I can't help you. I see. That's a pity. I'm sorry. Oh, dear. Hey, you're Prince Mars' personal knight, aren't you? Uh, yes, that's right. My name is Yard, and you are? I'm Alicia. There's something I want to know. About my dear prince, Prince Marth. Your dear prince? Well, he is a prince, but... You see, men are such disgusting creatures, but Marth is totally different. He reached out to me, gently, with his comforting eyes. He even promised to marry me right in front of Granny. Really? I find that difficult to believe. Oh, I remember when I closed my eyes. As I was being pursued by bandits and cried for help, Prince Marth came gallantly galloping to my rescue, riding a white horse. My... My liege doesn't ride a white horse. Let's not fuss over the details. Oh, yes. Where should we hold our wedding? Prince Marth might want it in Altea, but... I want Granny to see me in a wedding dress. And then, after the wedding, we'd look up at the night sky from the castle's balcony, just the two of us. And I'd say, isn't it beautiful? Then he would whisper in my ear... Not nearly as beautiful as you are. And then, and then we kiss gently under the moonlight. Oh, silly Malisha. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you in such an important part, but... Oh, please stop, Prince Marth. I'm so embarrassed. Prince Marth recently got engaged. But if you want to, then I... She isn't listening at all. I suppose I'll just let her be. <laughs> well, anyway. Now, these guys only have nine defense. Like, that's quite low. I mean, to say that Yarn one rounds them is not a surprise, but like, I'm, it's not like my Pegasus Knights are going to be tinging them anywhere near close to tinging them, actually. Like, they're going to do pretty substantial damage to them. These Armor Knights only have, like, a few more defense than these Archers do. So that's pretty good. So, we'll find a spot to bait these guys to separately <coughs> and go from there. Alright. Shock and roll. Ugh. So I'm surrounded. How sad. I guess it's the end of the road for me. Alright, he's here where we want. He's right where we want him. 
Now to savor his pain as we slowly draw the life from his tormented soul. Klein, uh, the Altean army has arrived. Tch, what a nuisance. Ayn, I hate to admit it, but you're right about the outcome. Altaeans never abandoned their comrades. You sure learned a lot about that trash from your time staying with them. My job is to kill, one by one, everyone who sided with Marth in the previous war. Because if his allies live, they'll eventually join him, one after another. And that would be dangerous. Klein, are you really up to the task? I don't need to get my hands dirty, do I? My underlings can get the job done. We're hardly dealing with strong enemies. You'll die if you underestimate Yarn and the others, Klein. I served as Yarn's tactician, but so much help as one. I didn't give them it, the advice a tactician should give. Even without me, Yarn and the others are strong. What? Have you become attached to the Altaeans after your little frolic with them? Then just sit and watch. Watch hard and well as I kill your beloved companions. Oh, yes, and please don't get in my way, okay? You know. Alright. So. Riss is in kind of a spooky place. But honestly, he can get to this fort and block it off early. That would be helpful. Um. So. <laughs> we can have. Yarn probably just take out one of these guys. And Aaron start chipping down the other one. And everybody else can just kind of hover around the outside. Around the outside. Around the outside. See what happens? Wow, Aaron doesn't double that guy. Brutal. Right. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, so we have to hurry, is what you're saying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I don't have a javelin on Pala. Hmm. Huh. Okay. So I can... Uh... Alright, so we can go here with Marth. Kill this guy with the rapier. We can come down with Militia and heal Yarn after we hop in the convoy and trade a javelin to Pala. Just have to make sure if Pala can kill. Because if Aaron hits for 16, now 20 with the Silver Lance, I don't know if Pala will do 10 with a javelin in one hit. But I guess we'll have to try it. And the heal on yarn's not like a hundred percent necessary here. Make this as accurate as possible. on hitting 275s here. It's not great. Okay. Good. So we can get Riss out of range again, but like, 
I don't know for how long. Alright, let's check this. Oh, she deals exactly 10, so as long as we don't miss, we're good. So we miss, she gets one tap back. With very high accuracy. Fuck. Ah. Uh... Well, we had it. Okay. So in this case, I think we want to move up with... Do this, maybe. Move up here with Pala. So that we can start getting a flyer closer in. Yeah. And if there's a spot that I can get both of these knights to hit... It doesn't look like I can dig. I can bait the boat. Well, no, this guy rolled higher strength, so. You can enemy stat variants, man. The worst. So, yeah, we'll just fly Pala up here and then. Uh, Katria can follow. Um, I'm wondering if we get Pala close enough to this guy, if this guy will move to the left here. Rather than not. If we can get Riss far enough away. Give it a go. Alright, so Riss will be two squares away. So like, I think the Armor Knight is still going to move toward him. We should have equipped the Iron Axe as well, since it won rounds and has better accuracy. No, they're both moving forward. Okay, so... Well, the good news is now Pala can reach this guy. And the Silver Lance is significantly more accurate. The bad news is I also still forgot to give her a Javelin, so... Let's go for this first. Because we'll have to back up with Aaron otherwise. If she misses. I should just be moving forward with an air in here.
Okay. All right, I'm leaving the rest to you. Others are coming to help you soon, so hurry and kill them already. If by some chance those rats aren't dead when I return, I'll make sure you're dead. Got it? Ugh. Uh-huh. So close. Okay, so Riss is getting attacked this turn regardless, and I think he's gonna die. <laughs> he gets one shot by both of these guys, I think. Okay, well we can do the, the same kind of maneuver here. Where we attack with Aaron. throw a javelin and just hope we don't miss next to guys one two three four five movement well he actually he may not be able to step into that tree Hall, oh, we're safe Whew. okay all right Aaron Good stuff. Alright, and we live. Hell yeah, brother. Okay. I mean, if he's not going to move... What, no talk combo for the old times? For old times' sake? Pretty brutal if you ask me. <sighs> oh, hell yeah, fast wrists.
Oh, I can't reach the heal Catria. Boo. I should be able to accurately attack without taking a counter here, though. Good. Picking up, uh, picking up speed on Pala is nice, because it's... I mean, I want to try and speed cap her before we promote. So... Alright, well that was yeah, about as easy as I expected it to be, having dissected the the map early on. Oh boy. Yeah. The enemy stats are much more forgiving. Uh and the enemy numbers were actually quite low. So culminated together for it not being that tough. Alright. Sire, the battle is over. Thank you, Yarn. We've repelled the assassins, but we cannot afford to linger here. I agree. I'm worried about Ogma. Let's hurry to Lord Wendell's place. Huh. The Altaeans are better than I expected. Oh well, we can always snuff them out later. I'll let them live for now. I warned you that the Altean army was strong. Coach, I... You can be annoying sometimes. Whose side are you supposed to be on? Don't tell me you're thinking of betraying Lady Aramaya. No. That thought could never cross my mind. We all live for Lady Aramaya. For her sake, I must defeat Yarn. I know that well. Right. Greetings, Yarn, my friend. It's been a while since we last had a decent conversation. Yeah, ever since the night training, eh? Father Riss? Indeed, you've become even stronger than you were then. Oh, did your hair grow a little? Really? It's true I haven't had time to take care of it since we left Otea. <laughs> you know... A haircut like mine is astonishingly easy to take care of. Uh, I, I can imagine. If you so wish, I could shave your head so it's like mine. Eh? As I'm a monk, I'm quite used to shaving heads. It's alright. If you don't like it, you can just let your hair grow and have your previous haircut back. What do you say? Would you allow me to shave your head? I don't know, we tried on the headband and it just made him look like a red-headed Ike. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle Yarn being bald. Because, like... He loses half of what makes an anime character unique, right? Anime characters all have the same face, and then they have different eyes and different hair. Like, that's, that's all there is to it. <laughs> no, I think we're gonna leave it. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I think I'll pass. I see. It's a pity, but perhaps it's for the best. In any case, Yarn, I'm counting on you from now on. Well, th thanks. Old Man Riss. Chapter 4 Joy and Sorrow at Home Beach. <sighs> Sorry, it's a long day at work. Oh. Hmm. Marth was unable to reunite with Princess Minerva, and so, in order to help Ogma and the Grustian royal children, he decided to visit Wendell, who was once the children's guardian. However, the home beach where Wendell resides is dominion of the infamous Macedonian Vikings. Countless pirates await in Marth's path. Will Marth be able to safely rescue the children? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z! Pirates, huh? Well, there's a thief right there with an armor slayer. It's gonna be in range of this first village? Bruh. So we gotta, we gotta bop him turn one. For sure, for sure. 
the 16 speed, so we gotta make sure that we just kill him in two hits then, in that case. Oh, that is a lot of axe users, actually. Okay, well. we we'll probably try and do some early enemy phasing with Yarn and Marth. Playing against these two. What does their attack look like? 30? Bruh. They're so swole. Oh my god. First things first, let's get some inventory sorted out here. Catcher can't use silver yet. Hala can use steel. I don't have an extra steel lance, I suppose, so that's fine. I do have a forged iron lance that we were using on Luke. And before we get too excited over this forge, it's literally a plus one iron lance. Uh, okay, so I probably don't need two staff units, much less three, for this map. So I definitely want more combat units. Um, Stats look any good based on reclassing options. No, Let's look at some uh look at some breakpoints here. Hmm. Oh I gotta I have one more unit I can bring. I got uh yeah. I mean Gordon is the easy pick. Just nice bow utility. Um We could also bring either Riss or Cecile, but I I like erring on the side of more combat than less on maps like this. I say on maps like this, I'm on maps in this game in general. It feels, I guess, better. Uh, I don't know where I was going with that sentence. My sleepiness from work is starting to set in. Also, I've been up since like 7 a.m. I woke up this morning. 7 o'clock. Hopped on my computer for a few minutes while I was waking up. Did some things. Went for like a two mile walk. Came home, showered, got ready for work. A very productive morning. Quite good. 
Alright, where's Drog? Do something like this. We can have Drog shoot this guy and then be able to use the six move to position more freely around these guys. train Linde this time around she was fine in the first game Cheddar Dragon but I don't know she was when I say fine she just did a bunch of damage she wasn't exactly like an enemy phase machine but again, most characters in this game aren't. Uh, Alright, let's get started. Okay. Inventories look fine. Could maybe trade somebody a vulnerary. So tired after work today, man. Alright, I'm gonna give this uh, a couple of sporting goes, but if I can't focus on this, then probably have to call it early. I still have no money? Still have no money. This guy's mug. That is just beautiful. And his name's Guile. I hear his theme goes with everything. It's pretty exciting. Oh, shh. Hi. There's a paladin here. He's quite serious about things. what we can do. Yumina, you bellow. This place is notorious for the Macedonian Vikings. If we could, we'd stay the hell away. The village where Lord Wendell resides is just past this arena. Mr. Ogma, I'm scared. Can we go back? You bellow, get a hold of yourself. You're a man, are you not? Show some spine. You can use a fire tome, can't you? So fight with it. 
But Master Wendell said that we shouldn't fight. Besides, I don't like fighting. Uh, stop complaining. It's just you and me now. You have to stay strong because I... I don't know what we're supposed to do. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Yumina. I'll do my best, so please don't cry. Damn, this can't be good. We've been spotted. Kids, we've got no choice. We're gonna have to cut through. Do not leave my side. Uh, I guess how does Ogma do against this fucking paladin? First things first. If I had just attacked with an iron bow, it would have been better accuracy. I just decided not to. Okay. So, Marth easily takes a hit here. Doesn't matter what weapon he's using, because he's not doubling. Sorry. Not what I meant to say. in front of him is desert, so that's hindering his progress forward. Okay. Okay. Right, I forgot about these guys. Uh, the issue is, Ogma and Sirius will fight eventually, and I don't want that to happen. Though, I guess Ogma can take a hit from Sirius, then we can recruit him once he walks up to us. It's gonna be obnoxious trying to find a spot that he can't reach. Either kiddo. Uh, I need to get away from the rest of these other enemies, though. Ah, ha, ha, ha. 
Won't be long now till my boys hidden in the forts all spring out and attack. I can almost see the freshest looks on their bewildered faces. <laughs> The axe rank is nice. Dude, this kid has one magic. I don't think he moved. So I can attack there, just hope that the thief doesn't have kill AI and continues to go on plunder AI. It can be a pretty tall order though. Okay. So I'm hoping the reinforcements come next turn and not this turn. Because I can't cover up anything but one. Beautiful. Extra skilled. Beautiful. And I think I've made it to B axis, is that right? Yeah, we've made it to B axis now, so that's pretty good.
at one point of killing him with the Silver Lance. So it would be nice to not take the counter attack there, but... Well, it is what it is. We get something relatively accurate here. Oh, we can kill with Marth. And hope that we don't get stuck from the ports. Because that will be an instant game over if Marth dies. Just... And then we'll need to turn Martha around and go get that village. Okay. Now, funnily enough, the Marth that I have right now is three levels behind what our Marth was at at the end game of the previous game. Ain't that something? We're gonna see we're testing the thief AI here. We're gonna see if he attacks Ogmar or not as well. Well, that's her in range of Sirius, but I don't think Sirius is gonna attack us. Cause I don't wanna take I wanna take Yumina off the village here, but I don't know if the thief will attack now. Or Sirius will. I don't think Sirius will, though. Alright. All the truth. Do we get ambush spawns? We do! Hooray! It's fucking bullshit. Oh, the thief has kill AI on uh, whoever we're saying on the village there. It's interesting. Cool. Again, I disagree with Sheeta being there. That's obnoxious. And if I can't have Sheeta, why does she get to sit there and talk shit? Uh, dude, I have to be on these forts or away from the forts on turn two. Like, at the end of player phase, turn two. That's nuts. I'm sure there's a way I can cleverly position myself to get these, but, like... Oh, that's so tough. And I don't have anybody who can one round this guy because I don't have any units with capped speed. I'm eating my headset on accident. I wonder. We reclass yarn to uh, whether it be a pirate or knight. Honestly, kind of want to go to Pirate because I have a feeling that classes give growths in this game. I'm actually checking that right now. I want to see how that works. Alright, you missed your emblem. 
class growth rates. Yep, classes do give growth rates for the player. Pirate has 70% HP, 30% strength, 15% skill, and 30 speed. Zero defense. Versus... Fighta, which has an extra 10 strength, but 30 less speed. Yeah, see, I need speed growth on Yarn at the moment. So let's make him a pirate. We can only take one hit anyway. These guys hit way too hard. So, may as well, right? So I'm going to go here, this is 27 attack versus 4 defense, yeah, it's, it's plenty of damage from Yarn there. somebody to be able to get in range of that port up here. They do do a little bit of uh, severe maiming to my face, but I think we're okay. Okay. 
Now, I should have enough units to be in range of all of these. Oh, that's fantastic. Here's the issue. Is I have units nearby where I can land on them, but I can't attack from them whilst blocking with said units. So it's kind of a moot point. I'm well, sorry to put yarn on one with a hand axe, but I can't even reach that. Like I'm having that I'll have to fly Aaron up here to block that one. You can have Yarn come over and blast this idiot. Nah, it still leaves me with nobody to get up on this fort here, because I need to kill this guy with Katria. Linda can't reach. And We're having the same problem as last time here, is that... Uh, are we? So... Oh, okay. I was like, what the hell is this special menu? I thought she might have been a dancer for a second. I'd be like, that's really fucking weird for like an eight, like an eight-year-old or something. Come on, Fire Emblem. We at least gotta try. Okay. Like, I'm still fucked over here. Like, I don't know why I'm bothering with all this shit. I can get to this fort just fine. We've not solved anything here.
Yeah, I don't. I don't know how I'm supposed to be able to. Oh right, I needed to move Ogma on to the to the village there. Oh wow, Gordon gets doubled. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's fine. So I don't know how... Okay, I'm having an idea, actually. Hold on. It doesn't help with the... Ogma corner. But it will help with the... Thieves, I hope. These days, all them bandits and pirates have been doing as they please. Sheesh. This wouldn't happen if it weren't for all them political tomfooleries. Okay. The government's to blame, etc., etc. See an even better spot to stand. Let's see what the accuracy is like on this. Terrible. Nailed it. Magic. Fuck yeah. Okay, the spot I was looking at, if you look at where these guys overlap, we could be standing... exactly right here with somebody. That can, like, double and one round these guys. And survive two hits. Which is basically nobody, but, you know... And take care of two on player phase. Or three, rather, in total. Having said that, though, with the uh, the overlapping guys, it doesn't really make much of a difference because I don't have any units that can survive it.
I'm finding it really hard to focus right now. I don't know if you've noticed over the last, like, ten minutes or so, but... It's tough. Okay, Drop gets one shot, Gordon gets doubled, so we can't leave those guys in range. Oh shit, Linda's in range? Well, she's fucking dead. Watch the magic, here we go. And... Whack. Beautiful. Didn't even notice. Paolo being able to wander out these the Silver Lance is really nice though. I think Luke even still gets one shot by the guys that have 30 attack. So I don't know if it's going to be a thing bringing him or not. So here's my thought process. We bring units that are a little bulkier, that can take a hit, and do more combat. Linde is not one of those units. None of my units that I have are really, like, able to take a hit type units, though. So who do I think is going to be more useful on this map? Gordon or Linde? Luke's not, Luke's not even that sturdy though, like, yeah, he gets one shot by almost all of these. Bring like Chris or Cecile.
what am I doing? Alright, we got our healing event. What else she needs? Okay. I am having an incredibly tough time focusing right now, though, so I think I'm going to call it for tonight. Uh, working for a living sucks, y'all. If you can avoid it, would recommend. Anyway, I'm going to head out. I am, like, struggling real bad. And uh, I don't want to be, like, just going through the motions, going through the motions, and not making any progress here. So, uh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, I'll probably be in better shape tomorrow than I was tonight, because, I mean, we're coming up on Thanksgiving in a couple of days, so work should slow down quite a bit, and I won't be as... It was actually relatively busy today, so... Yeah. Anyway, uh, I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow night. Until then, take care of yourselves, stay beautiful, and uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. It's a short list. See you guys tomorrow. Till then, bye-bye.